Greetings, YouTube. I have never had someone from a Master Alliance War Alliance reach out to me wanting to commentate their Alliance War Master Alliance War Rewards opening until today. Because what you see in front of you is just a crazy amount of rewards. 30,000 six-star shards, 40,000 five-star shards, two fully formed tier five basic, and then what I'm guessing to be some tier five class catalyst fragment crystals of some variety that I have not seen yet. Okay, so we got two 10% and five 2%. So still RNG dependent, but uh, literally, he is a master. He got the rare title. I'm a master of puns. That gets me zero rare titles. That is uh, definitely uh, <laughs> definitely not something you flex. It's like the opposite of flex. He is also using those shards to purchase the featured five-star crystal in the Black ISO store. That is just some great economy purchasing, Madman. Way to go. This is such a great crystal to purchase now. It is uh, really a fantastic value. Over 80% of the champions in it are amazing. And uh, hopefully he gets one of those. Iceman is certainly... Well, look, look at that. Medusa, Iceman, or Gwynpool. That's the kind of reel that in like the five-star basic you just drool over, but you can't expect it. It's also really making me hopeful that the next six-star featured crystal will have this level of selection of champs. That actually makes it worth the extra 5,000 six-star shards, which are still so hard to get. For the average player, that's not in Master Alliance War uh, tier mode. And Ultron, look at this guy. He almost has a maxed-out Ultron, and if you didn't put any six stones into him, that's your ninth dupe of five-star Ultron. That's incredible. And since he is a master player that clearly has most of the champs in the game, it makes sense that he would go after the new featured crystal because he probably is missing those new champs mainly, and that's it. So let's see if he can get one of those new champs in the featured crystal. And he double rolled over the champion that I desperately want, Black Widow Deadly Origin, and landed on a Yon Dupe, who Yon Dupe is still awesome, but in that crystal, he's one of the more quote unquote misses of it compared to so many of the other great champs. Okay, here the stakes are raised. I don't care if you're in a beginning alliance or a master alliance, six star crystals still have so much at stake. And there are so many champions in this that still are never gonna be taken to rank two. So you really just have to ask yourself, is it going to be worth it? And a void, is that a first time void? No, now is this a first time awakening? This guy clearly opens a lot of crystals. It is. All right, what a clutch pull. Now, yes, you probably still want to throw quite a few six stones into him. Don't want to uh, avoid those with him. But uh, that is huge. That is absolutely a screenshot-worthy moment. And that is certainly why you put in so much painstaking effort into a master tier of Alliance War. All right, Awakened is Void. Now, realistically speaking... You shouldn't even expect that kind of pull in three crystals, but definitely not in one. So now you're, you're probably thinking the RNG is going to reset itself, and that was indeed miles worse than the last pull. A symbiote supreme of RNG sandwich. He had Sim Supreme on both the left and the right, and a Miles sandwich in the middle. Was really hoping Miles would have evaded him there, literally. But uh, nope, okay. Whew, getting a little ballsy now with this five star, or five star, six star featured crystal that uh, I still don't think it justifies it. There are just too many misses in this. But I have seen people get the best of the best, but you could also get a six star Mordo for 15,000 six star shards, Guillotine, Hulk, so many champs that, that you just aren't ever going to use. In, unless they get buffed to rank two. All right, come on. He has to be nervous. He has to be so incredibly nervous. So many six-star shards. Half of the six-star shards he got in his war rewards going to this crystal. And we have ourselves a six-star Annihilus. And he already had one. 
First time dupe. Yep, and my guess is he's not going to be screenshotting that because that is indeed a miss. That is something he probably got for 10,000. Oh, I'm proven wrong. He screenshotted it. Something he got for 10,000. Six star shards probably in a basic. And now he uh, he got it in uh, well, in a six star featured. And then fi uh, finalizing these. These are the big time ones. And he didn't even finish it. Five minutes. Cuts it off. Who cares? Those are the six star and uh, five star rewards for uh, for masters. Congratulations on that. Incredible rewards. I can't even imagine the amount of time and stress and effort that it takes to get this level of Alliance War rewards. I am now Alliance War free for over a year, and it feels good to be Alliance War sober. So uh, I will not be jumping into it anytime soon, but I applaud all of you who not only love Alliance War, but who say it's the main reason why you still play the game. It's awesome for you. It's not for me, but uh, I respect the fact that it's for you and hope that you continue to have good luck on your War Rewards openings.